Welcome to the Pretty and Profiting Show, your favorite show for branding, beauty, business, and the truth of how to be a boss lady and build your empire. Pause the show right now and grab your free gift at ProfitablePersonalBrand.com slash hot. It's a workbook and audio training on five high-performing strategies to dominate your market and add an extra thousand to ten thousand dollars to your bottom line. And now your host. She's a fierce, creative freaking genius who is known by many as Nikki Hustle. Nicole K. Lundy. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Pretty and Profiting Show. Welcome to 2015. I'm so happy you're still rocking out with us on the show. It's your host, Nicole K. Lundy. And today, I thought it would be so fitting for us to talk about how to strategically review your business for a banging 2015. So we're, I'm sure you had a fabulous holiday season. I'm sure you had enough food that you're probably still full. Um, and I know that you're, you're in the mood of how can I kill it in 2015? How can I up level? How can I make this the year that it's a quantum leap. I My bottom line is bigger. I'm making a huger global impact in my business. And, you know, and the list goes on. I know you're ready to step your game up. But what is also important is that you look at what you did, that you do a thorough and honest review of your business so that you can take smarter steps in what you do in your business. So typically, I wanted to talk about this today because typically my clients and entrepreneurs look at what I want to do, the new things I want to implement without considering or looking back at what happened. How can you improve what really worked in your business and how can you get rid of what didn't work at all? And then you have those pieces, then you have those pieces in your business, of course, that are in the gray area. That's not really, you know, it wasn't a total home run, but it wasn't a complete dud. So how can we course correct that as well? There's so many situations to consider, but the point is you have to do, you have to review your business strategically so that you move smarter, more dynamically in this new year. So the first thing I want you to look at is your money, your money. It's the sexiest thing in your business and it could be the ugliest thing in your business. (laughs) So what I want you to do is really get clear if you haven't already on how much money you made in 2014. What is that number? Whether it is $101 or is $101,000. What is that number? What are your expenses? Which one of your program services products sold the most? And why did it sell the most? Which campaign? Really look at it so that you know what you want to bring into the new year. It's pretty simple, but a lot of people miss that out. And other, another part of money is how can you make the process of you getting paid simpler? So this is all about your money system, your accounting system, how you bring clients on, how products are sold, all of that jazz, how you get money into your bank account. Look at how you can make that system easier, easier for your clients and customers, easier for you. So one of the things I'm doing in my business is um, I use Zero X E R O as our accounting system, and I'm looking at their add-ons and other programs that they integrate with well to see how we can, you know, tighten up our own system. How can we get paid easier and faster? Because you know, sometimes I'm not gonna call names. Some systems you get paid and you have to wait seven to ten days before the money hits your account. That works for some people. It doesn't work for me. Out of pure preference, it might work for you. I don't know. But I want to see how we could get, how we can make this system tighter, how we can tighten up our contracts. Because this year I had a few client defaults in it and I wasn't prepared for it. I didn't have a system around it. I didn't, I, it sent, it, it honestly stressed me out. And I want, I don't want to go into the new year with, you know, 
I want to be tighter. So that sent me into a place where I had to create a system to get my money, to get our money, to get money that was owed to us. But there wasn't a system prior and priorly placed. So we had to do that on the fly, but how, how can I look forward for other things that's coming? That's all part of the money. It's all part of being a CEO and having that mindset that you are responsible for (laughs) the profits coming in. You're responsible for the losses that happen. You're responsible for paying your employees, your team members. You're responsible for investing in your business to move it forward. Money is a huge part of reviewing your business. So we're going to take a quick break and we're going to talk about a few other key factors that you have to review so that 2015 is a banging year for you in business. We'll be right back. Join the Pretty and Profiting Posse if you are a real deal woman entrepreneur creating wealth and making a global impact with your business, represent yourself. Head on over to prettyandprofiting.com and get your merchandise. Profit in style. So we're back and today we're talking about how to strategically review your business for a banging 2015. I thought it was so appropriate and cool for us to talk about it at the beginning of the year, because I want to tackle it. So we just talked about the importance of reviewing your money. Please, 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 please get on it. It's not something to ignore. It's always fun to say, oh, I'm going to sell, you know, a hundred things at a thousand dollars and it's, you know, a hundred thousand dollars that I'm going to make. That's fine and dandy, but you really need to get clear on your money systems. Get clear on it, dive into it, get be, be, I can't stress this enough. I've been through the client defaults. I've been through the PayPal lockouts. I've been through anything you can imagine. And all of it, I had to tackle on the fly because there wasn't a system in place. So take it from me. You don't have to go through it. Get your money systems in order. So let's talk about reviewing your performance, reviewing your performance and the company's performance is key because you are the CEO of your business. How did you, how would you honestly rate yourself on a scale of one to 10? Now I'm all about branding. So I ask people a lot of times when I'm training them, what is your, what is your rate on a scale of one to 10 as the chief branding officer in your business? So the chief branding officer in your business is the person responsible for getting you seen, getting you heard and getting you paid. So I just want to step back a bit and say, what was your overall performance of you being the CEO of your business? What can, what, do you want to improve? What do you want to expand on? What do you want to completely cut out? Know this, be honest, ask your team members, even ask some of your colleagues. They could tell you they're watching you from an objective point of view. Lastly, I want to talk about your relationships with people. Now, this is kind of a touchy subject because people get a little touchy. You know, especially my new entrepreneurs who partner with everybody and, you know, they kind of find out the hard way that not everybody is a great fit for their business. Some, sometimes, you know, the person they're partnering with, their their brand looks a little janky or you behind the scenes, that person just doesn't have the level of integrity of who you want to work with. I mean, there's a million reasons, literally, but I want you to look at your business relationships and really determine who are you going to take into this year with you? Who is it? And if that person is not somebody, like literally, if you go through your phone contacts in your business group and you know that there's a slim chance that you will ever talk to a person again, delete their contact, delete them. I am 100% sure you are connected to them on one of one social media platform, whether it's LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever. I'm sure you're connected at least through one of those platforms, but that doesn't mean they need to be in your phone. You need to physically and metaphorically create space for contacts, for the relationships that aligns with the brand that you are building now, with the CEO that you are now, um, with the plans that you have now. So review your business relationships, make some changes, make space, get rid of the ones that's not working, get in touch, 
with the people that you are aligned with, that you want to continue the relationship with, see what they're up to, see what, how you can play together in 2015 and make it happen. Schedule it. So let's review how to strategically review your business for a banging 2015. Get your money systems in order. Get them in order now. Two, you need to check yourself. How did you perform as the chief executive officer of your business? What can you do better? What do you need to stop right now? And what do you need to just course correct? Be honest, because if you're not honest, the only the, what gets hurt is your business. And lastly, you need to check your business relationships. If you know a relationship is not worthy of taking into 2015, kill it. Get them out your phone. <laughs> like, you don't have to go so far as deleting them off your social media, but get them out your phone. You need to have people in your phone that's close to you because I guarantee your phone is um, within arm's reach most times of the day and night. They ne- It needs to be filled with partners of purpose and partners of productivity, and it needs to be aligned with your brand. So that's it for today's episode. Happy New Year again. It's your host, Nicole K. Lundy. I have some awesome things happening on the show for you this year. So you're, you're, you'll hear about it. You're, you're in my tribe. So I will see you in the next episode. Talk to you soon. Bye. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of Pity and Profiting. Want to learn more about me and what I do? Head on over to ProfitablePersonalBrand.com. Also, I have a super juicy giveaway for one lucky show subscriber. If you want to enter, you just have to do two simple things. One, subscribe to the show. Two, leave a review on iTunes or Stitcher. And you'll be entered into this month's $25 Sephora gift card giveaway. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time, stay pretty and stack those profits. Thank you.